everyone. So in today's video, we're going to start a little bit differently. You're going to have a little voiceover of me telling you the story, but soon after I will show up and we're going to talk face to face. So we're going to talk about Faust, the drummer of the black metal band Emperor, and this is the story of the crimes he committed. <laughs> Bart Ludwig Faust Eaton, born on 21 of April 1974. He is a Norwegian drummer known primarily for his work with the black metal band Emperor. Faust started his career as a drummer at the rotting age of 16 for the first Stigma Diabolicum demo, but he's best known for his releases with the band Emperor as The Shadows Rise and The Groundbreaking in the Nightside Eclipse. Isam and Samuth began playing together under various names. Soon, however, Samuth began playing music outside their first projects, and together with a new bass player called Mortis, Emperor was formed. After a short while together, the band released a demo entitled Wharf of the Tyrant, and it quickly gained popularity in the underground and attracted attention of the then startup label Candlelight. Soon afterwards, a record was signed, and Samuth, then drummer, moved to play rhythm guitar. Isam continued singing and playing lead guitar, and then Faust was recruited as the drummer. Emperor released their first debut EP, Emperor, under the Candlelight Records, but the band was then signed to the infamous first black metal label Death Like Silence Productions. Unfortunately, the band never managed to release any material while signed to DSP, Euronymous record label. If you want to know more about Euronymous and Burzum and all that story, check my previous video up here. In the summer of 1992, a series of events were set in motion by the black metal so-called Inner Circle. Samoth, along with some of his friends, were set out to burn old churches in Norway, the traditional stave churches. Around the same time, also in 1992, Faust lived in Lillehammer, a city about two hours from Oslo capital. In the nearly constructed Olympic Park, a man named Magne Andersen approached him and suggested that they would take a walk in the nearby forest. Faust agreed, and once in the forest, Faust claimed that the man began to make strong, intimate advances towards him. Faust then reacted, stabbing the man to death kicking him in the head afterwards to ensure he was gone. So the day after he committed the murder, he went with Euronymous and Vark Vikernes to burn another church. Following the timeline, in the summer of 1993, the band began working on their first full-length album. Emperor then ceased wearing corpse paint as they stated it was becoming a trend and losing its original meaning. I mean, I get it. It gets boring when everyone thinks it's cool, right? In the autumn of that same year, the police began investigating the murder of Euronymous from Mayhem and naming Vark Virkenes as a suspect. As one thing led to another, this investigation eventually led to the incarceration of Samuth for the church burnings. And well, evidence was found against Faust for the murder of Magne Andresen. So in 1994, Samoth was sentenced for 16 months in prison together with Varg for the burning of the church of Vindefjord. And that was also the same time that the Nightside Eclipse was released and that also had a lot of positive reviews back then. I mean, talk a busy year. Those boys, they had their hands full. Then Faust claimed that he had no remorse, that he was just defending himself. Later on, Isam the singer, he said in an interview it was not a specific crime against that specific person, if that makes any sense. The media was then claiming that he was influenced by occultism and the dark forces in general. He did said himself in an interview as well that he did have curiosity towards these subjects, but he also said that there was no homophobic intentions with the crime that he committed. Many other friends of his claimed that this had nothing to do with black metal and, well, in that sense I do agree because, I mean, you can't blame crimes on a music style, like, that's stupid. Now, remember when they first started investigating the church burning? That false, maybe he talked a little bit too much. It's been said that he spoke about the murder that he committed against Magne to his friends Varg and Euronymous. So, in 1994, he was sentenced to 14 years in prison, but he was released in 2003 after serving 9 years and 4 months due to good behavior. On August 2013, Emperor got together for a reunion 
tour. They played in many big festivals like Wacken and Bloodstock. Well, Faust was invited as a guest drummer, as you know, one of the original members, but that caused a lot of backlash back then. People were not happy to see a convicted murderer playing drums. Bro, you listen to black metal. What did you expect? I mean, just look at your references. The, the, do you understand what I'm trying to say here? Like, I don't see why they were so shocked. Yeah, uh, let me know your point in the comments. Like, do, do you understand what I'm trying to say here, right? So this is the story about the crimes committed by Faust, the drummer of the black metal band Emperor. What do you think about what he did? Would you feel comfortable watching a gig uh, if a convicted murderer was playing drums or, you know, any other instrument for that matter? Let me know in the comments what do you think. If you have any other stories you would like me to talk about and I see you in my next video. Bye!